come to Maths with Ams, uh, don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Today's this video is on grade 9, uh, which I call lesson 2, Multiples and Factors. Multiples. The first five multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So multiples mean you must add a 3. The first five multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Now if I want to find the LCM or the lowest common multiple of the numbers 3 and 5, then what I do is I list the multiples of both 3 and 5 and then you look at the highest common number and this will be 15 the highest in the row so remember now although the name is lowest common multiple which can be a bit confusing because you tend to look for the lowest number no you actually look for the highest multiple for both and it must be common so in this case it is 15 Prime factorization. In the, the indicator instructs learners to write 18 as a product of its prime factors individually. Now remember, you must first remember what is a prime number. Only got two factors, one and the term itself, like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Those are prime numbers. Now what is a factor? A factor is the number that can divide into another number without a remainder. So a prime factor of 18 will be start with the smallest one that can divide into 18, which is 2. So 2 divides into 18 9 times. Then 2 can no more divide into 9, so the next prime number is 3. So 3 into 9, 3, and then 3 can again go into 3 once. And once you reach a 1, then you are done. And now you can write down all the factors. 2 times 3 times 3, which of course is 2 times 3 squared. The same with 10. 2 into 10, 5 times. Then 3 can't go into 5. So the next prime number is 5. So therefore... 2 times 5. The same with 15. 3 going to 15, 5 times 5 into 5 once. So, so for 10, the prime factors are 2 times 5. And for 15, the prime factors are 3 times 5. Now, if you want to find the highest common factor or the HCF of 10 and 15, for instance, then you write down the factors of 10, which I just... So what can divide into 10? A 1, a 2, a 5, and a 10. What can divide into 15? A 1, a 3, a 5, and a 15. So what do they have in common? Both got a 5 in common, like 10 is 2 times 5, 15 is 3 times 5, so they got 5 in common. So the 5 that is in common will be the highest common factor. Using prime factorization to find LCM. So if you want to find the LCM of 28 and 126, now again remember, although the name is lowest common multiple, it is not a small answer, it is a bigger answer. So again, factors of 2, 2 into 28, 14 times, 2 into 14, 7 times, 7 to 7, once. 2 into 126, 63 times, 3 into 63, 21 times, and 7 into 21, 7 times. So the factors of 28 will be 2 times 2 times 7, which of course is 2 squared times 7. And 126 will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 7, which of course is 2 times 3 squared times 7. So what you do now is for LCM is you write one of each factor. So look, there are 2s, there are 3s, and there are 7s there are for both. So you write all three down, but you take the biggest of each. So you take the biggest 2 and you take the biggest 3. 
and that is how you get the answer of 252. Remember what is LCM? Both 28 and 126 must be able to divide into 252 without a remainder. So let's look at a few examples now. Find the HEF and LCM by, by prime factorization of 9 and 24, 15 and 40, 18 and 24. And then secondly, LCM by using multiples, 3 and 14, 8 and 9. Right, let's find the HEF and LCM by prime factorization. Look at 9 and 24. Then factors of 9 is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. And of course, 24 will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 cubed times 3. So again, for LCM, you take one of each and the biggest. So the biggest 3 will be 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. And the biggest 2 will be 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And therefore, 72. HF is the 3 that appears in both. If you get 15 and 40, factors of 15 is 3 times 5, or 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, which is 2 cubed times 5. So LCM again, 1 of each and the biggest. So 3 times 5 times 3 twos, which is 122, and 5 is the only number that appears in both. So therefore, the HF is 5. 18 and 24, so 18 is 2 times 3 times 3, which is 2 times 3 squared. 24, again, is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 to the power 3 times 3. So LCM, again, one of each and the biggest. There's only, there's three twos and, and there's two threes. So therefore, 72. And then, of course, 6 will be the number that appear. Where is it coming from? It is 2 times 3. Both got a 2 times 3, and therefore the HEF is 6. Find the LCM by using multiples. Now we're using not fa prime factors, but multiples. So 3 and 14, multiples of 3 will be 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. And 14 will be 14, 28, and so on. And the very first or smallest common one will be 42. And therefore the LCM is 42. 8 and 9. 8 will be 8, 16, 24, and so on. 9 will be 9, 18, 26, 4. And the first one that is common will be 72. So therefore, the LCM is 72. I hope you have enjoyed this little short video. Again, please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Ahmed Suleiman signing off.